Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're talking all about Papago. <laughs> Let's start taking a look at the map here of Papago Park. Now, Papago Park is located directly east of the airport in downtown Phoenix. As you can see on the center of your screen right here, that red dot is gonna be Papago. Also, it's gonna be directly north of Tempe. It's gonna be bordered by the 202 to the south and the 101 to the east. So you do have very good access on the highways wherever you're trying to go. 202 east and west, if you're trying to get over to the Mesa area over here. 202 is this highway, as you can see. You zoom in a little bit for you, is this highway. And you have the 101 going north to get to uh, your areas up north, as well as the I-10, 143, and then the I-10 getting down areas south. So you do have a bunch of different highways all around. And you are, as I mentioned, very centrally located. To Sky Harbor Airport, depending on where you are in Papago, it's going to be anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes. Then to get over to downtown Phoenix, depending on which way you go and traffic, it could be anywhere from about 7 up to about 25 minutes. Just because a lot of the surface treats, if you are taking that route, it can take a little bit. There are a lot of lights. But that is one of those things you're going to have to deal with when uh, if you're trying to travel down in Phoenix during rush hour going through downtown and it's a large city. Now, the other stuff that is right around Papago that makes it nice and fun, just to the north here, right where you see Scottsdale, that is Old Town right here. So you have Fashion Square and Old Town Scottsdale just right up here. And that's going to be pretty close to most of the areas of Papago. Usually under about five minutes to get there. Could be up to 10, depending on traffic and time of day. And what route and exactly where you're coming from. Then up to the top left over here, you have the Biltmore area. That's going to be no more than 15 minutes away from Papago Park, wherever you are here. And Biltmore is, again, going to have a lot of shopping and golf and professional businesses right there, too. So one of the nice things about Papago is its location right by downtown Phoenix, close to Biltmore and Old Town Scottsdale, as well as Tempe, means that for most employment opportunities, you're going to be very close to it. And the highlight of Papago Park, as always, is the park itself. So you do have the park, and then you have Phoenix Zoo here as well within the park, as well as the Desert Botanical Garden and the Pompago Golf Club right here. Other shopping in the area, you have Tempe Marketplace right here, which is right on the corner of the 202 and 101. It's going to be just to the west of the 101, right if you see this total one and more. This is all going to be Tempe Marketplace. And you also have Mill Avenue for some opportunities for bars and other restaurants right down here just going down mill so you, again nice and close and then along scottsdale road here and McKellops, there's going to be tons of different shopping and restaurant options right there too you also have asu is one of the main areas right next to it just uh, to the south on the other side of tempe town lake tempe town lake also borders papago which is quite nice if you're trying to get out there and enjoy some water, a little bit cooler weather, some sand sports and things of that nature. Our property types here in Papago, you do have anything from single family homes to condos to townhomes to apartments. There's a bunch of new buildings going up all right by Papago for apartments and condo complexes. And then a lot of the homes are going to range drastically from when they were built. Everything is from the 50s all the way up to some modern custom homes. And the price of those homes for single family is going to vary drastically as well. They start, so you can get one bedroom, one bath, about 500 square foot or so places. And those will be in the mid 100s. You can actually get them for about 120, 130 up. And then depending on the size of property after that, it's going to be going up from there all the way to the custom homes up at $1.8 million. Zoom in there. Let's do a satellite view. The amenities and lifestyle here, as I mentioned, you have plenty of shopping options. You have the Phoenix Zoo here, uh, Desert Botanical Garden with a couple of restaurants there as well. Then just over along uh, Scottsdale Road and, and Hayden Road here, you're going to have tons of different shopping options. As I mentioned, same with uh, Old Town Scottsdale, Tempe Marketplace. As you can see right here to the bottom right of your screen, this is going to be Tempe Marketplace. 
downtown Tempe is plenty of options too. Same if we go up a little bit over to the Biltmore area. Biltmore's going to be right up here. We're going back to Papago. We also have the uh, National Guard Joint Force Headquarters in the north end of it. But this area in Papago is absolutely beautiful. Now let's get down and show you a few options of what some of the homes look like right by Papago. So these are going to be some of the typical style homes here right in Papago. These single family homes, they're going to be a little bit older, which also makes them more affordable. So especially if you're starting out your professional career, these are great options. No way you can limit the budget of what you need to spend because housing prices can get quite expensive. It's a beautiful area. And if you are trying to go right into um, have those outdoor recreation activities, being right here in Papago is an amazing location. So you have all the different hiking trails around. This right up here is one of the hiking trails. Let's go right up over here. Again, as you can see right there is another view of Hole in the Rock. But tons of different hiking trail options all throughout. And then depending on what type of homes you want and how close you want to be, you have homes like I showed you right there. We're going to show you here. Oops. Let's go right here. These are a bit newer homes here. Single family. And these have two car garages. The vast majority of them. Also tons of different park options here, not just Popical Park, but several parks right in between. If I go back to the satellite view, you have all the green belts here, which uh, you can take biking paths all the way up. And the nice thing about Popago is right along the canal is actually a bike trail that will take you all the way up and then over right up into uh, Old Town Scottsdale right up here. Right to Old Town, you can go right along the canal going up and then over when you're right to Old Town. So if biking is your thing, excellent opportunity. Same with uh, hiking and other options. There are several lakes right throughout here as well that you can get to. Not directly part of Phoenix Zoo. Phoenix Zoo is all of this area here, but these three lakes up top here are not part of the zoo and they offer public fishing options. Plenty of different school options here as well in the Papago area. And one thing with Arizona is you can actually send your child to whatever school you like. Does not have to be the school which you are the school district which you are located in. Let's show you guys a few other options of housing here. Some apartment style. So These would be some more condo and apartment style living. Mine with some single families here as well. Giving you these options. As you can see across the street, there's going to be more single family home options straight ahead. Let's get back out here. Let's show you some of these up here, which are a bit more of the older style ones. But these are great opportunities if you are wanting to update them. Um, the carports here, which is this area right there, can always be enclosed to make a garage and add a decent bit of value to your property. So again, tons of great opportunities and areas right around here. As I mentioned, some of the homes can get much more expensive to show you what some of those will look like. Let's go down right here. So these homes are gonna be on a little bit larger lots right in this area. But are still a bit older homes. Some of them here can be larger. There are several opportunities there where people have completely redone the home and make it um, tear it down and make it much much larger so you do have a lot of that opportunity going on here in Papago. I would want to say a tip for Papago is that there are so many different options right around and is essentially located area that for real estate purposes you are in the heart of the city so they is going to grow nicely being so close to asu offers good rental opportunity as well and business opportunity throughout um, the developments of this area uh, they are continually developing the salt river er, or excuse me the tempe town lake area especially on the uh, south shore of it with a ton of new businesses and then again same on the north shore right here right where I'm going around and circling for you guys, which is this road is going to be rural. 
and as soon as you go north of the river, it becomes Scottsdale Road, south of the river is rural, and the 202, as well as the areas over here at Tempe Marketplace. So tons of different options and room for growth, especially on this west side over, it's going to be a bunch of new buildings going up too. Now, this area is going to be decently less expensive than the Scottsdale areas to the north. So all of these areas up here to the right and directly up ahead, it's going to be much less expensive. Arcadia is one of the areas close by that it can be very, very pricey as well. But it's going to be fairly similar to the style of homes as Tempe area. But again, very good location and you are a little bit further away from the university, so a little bit less traffic, especially during a school year. But again, this is a fantastic opportunity for people coming through and absolutely gorgeous. Let's get right back to it. Oh, well, hey guys, thanks for joining us again on the channel. We're doing a vlog today of the Papago area. And we're here right now at the beautiful Papago Park. Yeah, so this is kind of located right between the Phoenix Zoo and the Desert Botanical Garden. Kind of in South Scottsdale, sort of East Phoenix, uh, where Scottsdale, Tempe, and Phoenix kind of come together. Yep, so technically we are in Phoenix, but right on that junction. So you're close to access to all the different stuff around, such as Tempe, Tempe Marketplace. You're pretty close over to Old Town Scottsdale and the stuff in South Scottsdale. Pretty close to Biltmore, not too far from downtown because you're right here on the freeways and stuff like that. So it's a pretty convenient area. And I mean, just look at this, guys. It is beautiful out here. You have tons of hiking options that you see right there in the background next to those palm trees. That is Hole in the Rock. Because it's got a hole in the rock, you know. They named it pretty, uh, they're pretty inventive Amazing with their names. Amazing how they came up with that name. I know, I know. But from up there, there's tons of other hikes besides that one. But anyway, from those hikes and stuff up top, you do have fantastic views looking out over the valley. You can see all the different stuff here in Papago Park. Uh, and looking out over into Phoenix and see the city lights in downtown Phoenix. You can see the lights down in Tempe, Arizona area you can even see the lights up in scottsdale or mesa looking out over to the east so it is pretty fantastic and popco is relatively unique because if you see those uh hills and mountains there it's more like whitewashed stone it's fairly unique for the area most of the stuff is going to be a little bit different we'll show you some of that to uh, make you guys see kind of what the difference is and then looking from up top there as i said it is striking just seeing this area in the botanical garden the zoo and all that and these bodies of water right here which yep you see right behind me there is water here in Arizona. And you can go fishing. I don't know that I would want to uh, eat anything that comes no, out of these waters, would, but uh, they are they are stocked with fish. Yep, I'd heavily recommend just a catch and release policy for these fish. But, you know, there's multiple lakes around here, close proximity, so it means you don't have to go too far out of the valley to get your fish, fishing fix in, yeah. which is always nice. So for housing in this area, I don't know, did you mention that we're just north of ASU? Yep, just north of ASU. Okay, so this is an older part of Scottsdale, so the homes tend to be uh, a, a smaller. So, the, you know, a typical ranch-style home, maybe three bedrooms, two baths, a, a little under 2,000 square feet, um, but it is an area that's in highly in transition. So a lot of the older homes are being purchased and they're being totally renovated. Um, there's a lot of new construction going on, a lot of new condos um, and apartments. This area tends to attract a lot of young professionals um, because ASU is just down the street. Uh, the Sky Song uh, just up the street. is just up the street. We're really close to downtown Phoenix. You've got downtown Scottsdale just a few miles north of here. Biltmore is also just a few miles away. Exactly. So if this is an area, if you're like a young professional just looking to get started, this is the mo probably the most affordable part of uh, Scottsdale. Absolutely. And then with the park, as we mentioned before, then there's tons of biking trails that actually go oh, yeah. all the way from here in Papago Park all the way up to Old Town Scottsdale. So if you are trying to get your bike fix and some exercise in, I'd recommend, at least Barbara would probably recommend definitely to do that during the summer, spring, or fall months or fall times, not really during summer. Yep. But if you are a tough one out there and you want to do it during summer too, you won't run into too many people. As you can see right now, we're basically here by ourselves. But it does get a bit busier during the winter. So overall, just a great central location, especially for homes. Absolutely. And more affordable than a lot of the other spots. You're right.
Yeah, thanks for joining us on our Pop and Go vlog today, guys. Let us know what your favorite part of the vlog was, and also let us know if we missed anything that you guys want to know more about. You can always leave that comment right down below, or if you want a more personalized yep. uh, touch, just reach, reach out. out to us. Yeah, we're here for you. We want to be able to answer all your questions. Yep, our contact information is listed right down below. But thanks again for joining us. We'll see you next time. Bye.